Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 Episode 7 of Season 2 of Oshinoko. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Obviously not. You don't have time for it anymore. The chills, oh my god.
Doesn't that seem a little too easy, though? Oh. Oh, baby. You're like, I want to be like that. Oh my God. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Damn, she was like, fuck Aqua. Go back. <laughs> But I'm guessing something happened this day to oof. Because, mm -hmm. of course, something bad happened that day. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Because it already is, sweetie. No. to say it but she's right though And not look at you as a money maker. Because that's a facade she had, baby. That too? Ooh, that was nice.
Yeah, you can't do that until you settle things with yourself. She's wanted that for the longest time, and the fact that she's not getting that. Oh. Mm-hmm. It just won't be satisfying for you. We know. Okay, having those two meet together as kids, it hits because it reminds me of you being a fan of someone to the point where it's like, okay, let's say you were in like a deep, deep depression and you get out of that depression thanks to that person and you want to meet them and kind of, you know, give them thanks and everything. I've seen people like that. Um, and you realize they're not the type of person that they, you know, protect that they are. The the same thing how some people say like, oh, you know, when you interact with a celebrity, one way they're like this and they're like this some other way. And they could be like the most sweetest person like um, to someone else. But maybe to you specifically, they are like the meanest person in the world. And that moment for her, like. I get it, because I think if the role was reversed and it was the other way around, Okada would definitely feel the same way. Think about, like, okay, what was the last celebrity interaction I had? I only have really one. I, mm, 
actually no, I've t- I have had I've had two. Um, both my years of high school, I met a singer who was on American Idol, and then I met an actress who is from my city. Um, and she, the big thing, of course, she's known for is Twilight. And I didn't get to, because, the, you know, the questions you want to ask people and such, and, you know, didn't get the time, but I got a picture and an autograph and such. Um, but it's like, damn, like, you know, this person's so freaking different and how they are and interviews and everything and such. Or we can talk about the big thing that's going on these last couple of weeks in the world of entertainment. The situation of Blake Lively and how everybody now is kind of turning against her. Where um, eons and eons ago of, I think, mid-2006, 2007, 2008, before or around the time when the greatest show, in my opinion, Gossip Girl, was coming out and how she went from just a girl who was on, like, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants to the other movie Accepted to international fame because she was already known, but she was already an it girl, but she came even more of an it girl to now so many years later you're married with a husband who just had a movie come out aka Deadpool Wolverine now your movie is coming out but there's a lot of backlash on it ends with us because it's not talking about the stereotypical thing of domestic violence and everything and they're changing it to like oh this is a uh, a freaking empowerment movie for females like everybody should go see this da, 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 and, and such and there's a lot of things that are now coming out these last like two or three weeks um about what the hell was going on during filming how this woman really is like there hell there was an interview that i watched last night for like a couple of years ago that she was in and she um, was making fun of someone's stomach, even though the woman was like, oh, hey, no, hey, uh, congratulations on, you know, your pregnancy and stuff. And she was like, oh, congratulations on your belly. And I was like, what the freak is going on? So it's always like that mask that they put on in front of certain people versus like where they're true, how they truly act and such. And maybe she's not always like that. I'm not really sure because I don't know. But from what I have now also heard, um, and such, and seeing from other people who have worked with her, specifically that cast of Gossip Girl, and how even now there's barely a lot of people who follow her on that cast. And so these are the times now where you just want to be a fly on the wall or just talk to... forecast for tomorrow in Jacksonville. Look for some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 94 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 78 degrees. Sometimes also, there's a recurrent statement in effect until Monday, August 19th, 4 a.m. Sometimes I wish I should turn you off or try not to record at six four somewhere around six forty six because I always forget. Um, but you want to be a fly on the wall or you want to ask um people who have worked with a person what was this person truly like when they were recording um, or airing or filming this show, movie, whatever? Because I get it. Some people say, like, oh, for the best of the thing, like, we shouldn't talk bad about someone. But if it becomes to a point where, like, people... <laughs> people were like, oh, no! Like, <laughs> they want to say something, but they don't want that backlash or anything. Maybe it is necessary time to say something about someone because it's like, you could be that one person that is like finally saying something. And if you say something, other people will come back and say like, okay, this is the time where I have to have a voice. It, it's a li- it is messed up with everything that is going on in this situation because it is really it's mind blowing because I never would have thought because I've liked this girl for like a long ass time, but I'm looking at her a little sideways now and such. I was like, mm I was like, okay, is it gonna affect my rewatch of Gossip Girl? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not because I know myself. I can literally take out the person from the character. I will also say. Akane's style of how she studies the psychologically of a psycho well the, yeah the psychologically of a character that is really interesting she that's why she's number one she's best girl to me she's always been best girl the way that she literally does everything to like embody a character and she studies them to like a T 
Because the funny thing is, I do that. It's it, it's so weird. And, and I'm like, and I'm like, shit, I understand her. I vibe with her. I relate to her on how she does that. Because how, like, okay. <laughs> this is, I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this so much. It's so weird. Okay. So what I used to do, because I kind of still do it now. Um, if there's a character I really, really like in a show, show, movie, whatever, um, sometimes, like, because from my acting side, I will literally take, like, traits and little things about them and put it into, like, my personality and such, which is, it, it's so weird. It, it's, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but I'm, it, it's just, like, one of those things that I do, and I hate the fact that I do it and such. So, sometimes I've even taken it from, like, people, but then I'm like, oh, I don't like it, so I just flush it. And such where I, I, there's are, there are times and moments where I have be, depending on the person, I will say this. I cannot believe I'm saying this shit about myself. Um, I can put on a mask up front to someone if I like you or not and such. It depends on even if you fuck me over and such. And so, especially if you do screw me over, um, I can literally just be like, oh no, everything's fine. We're okay. Even though in the back of my mind, I can't stand what the fuck you did to me and such. But I can put on a fakeness where it's like, no, we're okay. We're fine. I have no problem with you. Even though back of my mind, I'm cussing you the fuck <laughs> And such. So that's why I always tell people, like, yeah, be, be a little watch online on me. Because, you know, one minute, like, I can just be, like, the sweetest little thing in the world. And then, you know, I just want to, like, mm, be like, I, I want to. I'm never like the mean girl murderous thing or anything. I'm never doing that. No, because psh, no, I'm not that bad. I am bad where I can literally do something to get like revenge on someone. But the K word. Why would you do the K word? Like, oh my God, I think that's so weird. But no, 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 no. I do hope that for both Akane and Kana's sake that they do have that moment of that battle because they both need it to kind of start fresh in their relationship slash friendship or just whatever it is between these two. And I hope they get it very soon. I pray. Before the end of the season. But we'll see. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 7 of season 2 of Oshinoko. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Wednesday once I come home from work. I should be home... 4? I think. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> For episode 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!